Oh my God, where do we begin? Okay, well, there is so much going on in the real world of New Jersey this week. We are about to get into it with Kim D. And we thought when RHONJ ended, we would only be talking about Beverly Hills with Kim. Well, listen, of course, we are about to deep dive on the Ramona coaster, sharing Teresa's wedding invitation with the world. The fact that we all now know who's invited, who's not invited, who's in the wedding party. Kim addresses some things she heard about this whole thing where Teresa wants you to, like, donate to the honeymoon. Kim breaks down where this place is. We talk about the invitation. Really, I mean, I'm still focused on the fact that Margaret's invited. So we're about to just deep dive on, thank you, Ramona Singer. We're about to talk about more New Jersey filming behind the scenes. We are about to talk about this whole thing that Carolyn Manzo wants to return to put Teresa at her place. Teresa calls BS on that. Also, we do break down Beverly Hills. We talk about the real world. Kelly Dodd is claiming Harry Hamlin is gay. Here these rumors are again. We are about to talk, and all this is over on Patreon, by the way, and we're going to share some clips, but we talk all about Lisa Rinna and these, these public feud and text messages and who's coming after her. Now the rumor is this guy is suing and when is Kathy Hilton coming and is Bravo canceling Kathy? There's so much going on, Beverly Hills in the real world also. But we do break down the show, everything that happened between Crystal and Sutton. We didn't see that one coming. Kim still has all sorts of unpopular opinions, but I kind of put her in her place. Um, and then, surprise, Kim wants to talk about Dubai. What do you go? I've gotten a lot of DMs about Dubai, so I want to hear all about what everyone's thinking about Dubai. Break that down a little bit. Um, so now you have RHONJ, Dubai, and Beverly Hills. So here are some clips, and then head on over to Patreon to listen to our Saturday chat with Miss Kim D. Unbelievable what's happening with Jersey. It's just unbelievable. It doesn't stop. It does nope. not stop. Nope. Nope. But, you know, um, Ramona gave us life this week. Thank you, Ramona. Even though I dislike you very, very much. Um, you made me laugh and um, your faux pas made my day. It's not because it's Teresa's invite. It's just not my style. Are you sure about that, Kim? Are you sure I'm it's not very because sure it's Teresa's? About that. No, I swear, my, I swear my seven dogs. I swear. And I never do that. The fact that all these people got the, um, the website codes and got in there and found out everybody that was involved. Let's and then I saw my name. Like down. they were, yeah, yes. they were saying, Kim D. Paola, like making fun of it. I was cracking up. But you, so break it down, David. I was so, listen, I was shocked, appalled, and devastated over this. You were going to be my plus one, David. Oh, man. We got screwed. We got screwed. And now, what? How is no. Margaret invited to this wedding? Please tell well, me. Well, that listen to me. Teresa is so phony. <laughs> you <laughs> said that you said uh. you, you were me and you talked um, privately. How can they film? They're never going to be in the same room. I go, don't worry. They'll be in the same room. Opening roller skating party with Melissa. There they were in the same room. You know, there's someone else who wants to get in on the act because she's tired of Teresa's bull. Is Caroline Manzo. She called her out. You know, Caroline's ready to get on that show and knock her for a loop, which she should because she is alleging that Caroline Manzo has said some things or done things that Caroline did not do. So, you know, good for Caroline that she's sticking up for herself. But I had a witness who saw someone call them when they weren't getting along. And I've said this for years, but they will, she wants to blame. Caroline would never call the feds. Give me a break or the IRS. Stop it. Just leave with Caroline. I mean, I, what, the name so, like Manzo? No. Okay, wait. We'll slow down. You Did you tell Teresa you know who called the IRS? Are they on the show currently? Let's put it all out there, guys. Here's the thing. If there's one person that's going to walk in that Teresa oh, yeah. is going to like, say holy shit i yeah. don't know who else is but carolyn she's scary carolyn is scary yeah i mean people she think you're scary so i guess yeah. you, we can but, both rip Teresa apart trust me we not we don't want to not you know physically with our words you know what i mean both of us so you know it is what it is let's go caroline let's see if we get her on in the meantime um, yes. Beverly, I have some things to talk about Beverly Hills. And I also want to, I got add a lot one, to say, yeah, one thing about Dubai. So I still, I don't like this crystal. I think she's acts like a child. I think she's very spoiled. I think Sutton is, um, 
I don't, I really don't even know what to say about Sun. Maybe towards the end of this, I'll come up with a word. I think she's self-absorbed. Um, quirky is, I like quirky. Quirky is good. Self-absorbed. And, and you don't um, think Dory Kemsley or Lisa Rinna or the pretty mess is self-absorbed? The pretty mess is self-absorbed. Speaking of puppy gate, I am sorry. I am living for this LVP reference that easily could have been caught. Oh, it was great. It was great. I think the girls overreacted. It did. You know, listen, whether she's acting or not, what she went through was traumatic. I don't give a shit what anyone says. Somebody putting, two people putting a gun to your head and thinking you're going to die and one person saying kill her and the other person not. People could say whatever they want. That's brutal. I mean, that's got to be brutal. You don't just get over that. And she keeps saying her home is her safe place. My ass would have had that place up for sale and moved. I don't get the home is her safe place. That's her unsafe place. They never found these people yet. Get, uh, get out. What do you get out? Move. I would move. I would move. Did you see? Let me ask you a question. Did you see the video someone put up of that she keeps licking her lips and well, her tongue? I what is that? I love going to stores and shopping. Like, just because you have $250 million, it means that you would never walk into a store. Like, that's a girly thing to do is going with your friend. Something's wrong. Something you're going to say, I like Dorit. I can't explain why. And I don't care if she's dramatic. And I don't care if she's a bit of a little bit of a fibber. Um, there's something I like about her. This fucking crystal is one to watch. Yeah, she is. She look, is. And look I, what's going on with um, Rinna in the real world. And now she's wow. releasing, like now this she's releasing these text messages. And and that's too freaking bad. That's too bad. He wants to sue her, let him sue her. Like, like Rinna has to worry about this little idiot suing her. What does she care? She had sue me. She you know, don't give two shits. And I hate to tell you, Teresa would be probably in my top three, just as far as like understanding the assignment. Not for me. I know. She don't understand the assignment. She doesn't go along with anything. You don't understand. They set her up. She's like a puppet with their hand up her ass. They, she does what the producers tell her to do. But at you don't least understand. that doesn't make her bad. It's like, well, I just, listen to me. I, I can't. Oh, and by the way, Melissa's in the bridal party. Did you see that? Well, that's what they're saying. I'll find out. I could find out. What were you going to say? You were going to say something else. I was going to say, what do you, real quick. I want to switch off of this for a minute because oh, I have to do Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. That's what I want to do. What do you think of Dubai? Here's the thing. Are you asking me this because of everyone saying he's gay? No, I have not heard that. But what do you think of him? I mean, he's hot. Yeah. What do you think of him, Kim? Why are you uh, asking you know, me a loaded question? I, these women, um, the, I, the, the Amon character, the one that looks like Amon, very, like, wow. Okay. Chanel. Yeah. She was very interesting. Um, I don't know. Listen, we'll as do far as Beverly Hills, I'm going to say maybe what we can do is we can pick our favorite outfit of each the show yeah. since Beverly Hills is a little bit of a snooze fest, a little bit, but we're still liking the opulence of it. So your my favorite outfit, story. I know. And there's so much more that we are about to cover more Beverly Hills, more New Jersey, more Dubai, breaking it all down with Miss Kim D. So head on over to Patreon and have a great Saturday.